What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and in this video we're going to be comparing the cameras of the Samsung Galaxy S6 versus the Xperia Z5. Now we'll be looking at both the front and rear facing cameras and at images as well as video too. Do also look out for the audio icon in the corner of the screen and that will indicate to you which device the audio is coming from too. And we'll be switching between these two to give you a better idea of the differences in audio as well. So we're currently outdoors and we are going to, filming with the front facing cameras on both devices and we are going to be switching to the rear facing cameras and trying lots of different scenarios so do hit that thumbs up button and let's get straight to it so now we are filming at 4k with both devices now this video is exported out at 1080p so they are scaled down but we can crop in and get that much more detail on both devices now we've got optical image stabilization on the samsung galaxy s6 on the xperia z5 we do have steady shot standard at 4k so we're just going to take a bit of a walk to see how stable both of these are There you go. Right, so now we have switched to 1080p because at 1080p, the Xperia Z5 does have steady shot intelligent active mode. So let's just take a walk and see if that helps. We're just gonna, I'm, I'm actually just kind of walking roughly just to see how much of a difference that intelligent active mode does make. So let's see. So now we're indoors with the Xperia Z5. Uh, we're just testing out the autofocus, so something far to something close and it's relatively low light. Now exact same lighting on the Samsung Galaxy S6, testing out the autofocus from something that's near to something that's a little bit far. So now we're just filming side by side in the same low-ish lighting scenario, just in case anybody's got something to say about that. So that was the video, now let's have a look at some images. Now, before I start, side note, both of these cameras were on automatic mode, so I didn't tweak the settings in terms of manual mode just to make it as fair as possible. And both were also at their highest resolution, so five megapixels for the front-facing cameras on both, and then 16 megapixels for the S6, and 23 megapixels for the Sony Xperia Z5 for the rear-facing cameras. So anyway, moving on to the images, starting off with some selfies. Now, both seem to be doing a nice job here. I can see colors are slightly different, a little bit more on the warmer side on the S6, a little bit on the cooler side on the Z5. My color's up as well, I've just noticed. But anyway, um, I do think both are doing a good job. If I was to pick one, I do prefer the Z5 here in the good light. So that's uh, just something if I was to choose one, but I do think both are doing pretty good. You've got a slightly wider angle lens on the S6, so should be better for your group selfies. Now moving on to a super SAF style car selfie. Now here you can see that the S6 is definitely performing better. This was a complicated situation. We had light coming in from the background and it seems to have done a better job in terms of the dynamic range and a lot more detail as well. With the Z5, you can see we've got that blue tint here and it's just not as sharp or as good as the S6. So the S6 would have to get the edge here. Now moving on to some selfies in a low light. Here you can see that the S6 is definitely doing better. You've got a lot more details, especially if you look towards my eyes on the Z5 that has really kind of smudged them down. So for low light selfies, I would give the S6 the edge. Now moving on to an outdoor wide shot, I think both are doing a good job. Slight differences in color. If I was to pick one, it would be the Z5. I like the wider angle lens, which allows you to fit in more into your scene. So that's definitely gonna be great for landscapes and images like that. Now moving on to a close-up, so a macro shot of some leaves. And here you can see that we've got plenty of detail. Both are doing great. I do prefer the colors on the S6 a little bit more than the Z5. And the image also looks a little bit sharper. Now let's go in 100%. And here I would give the edge to the S6. There's a lot more detail here. And it has pinpointed that focus very accurately. Now while we're on the topic of macro shots, I do have to mention that I did find it a lot easier to get macro shots on the S6. Having a look at this image of this spider, all I had to do was tap to focus on the spider and boom, I had the focus there and I got this amazing shot of the spider. I tried the same with the Z5 and I just could not focus onto it. I was tapping on the spider and it just would not focus. Now I did try to move back because it has a wider angle lens to see if it would focus in. Once again, it just did not focus into this spider. With the S6, you can see here, we've got plenty of detail. You can go in 100% and you can see some scary amounts of detail on the spider here, which is absolutely great. Now, following that, I did try another macro shot here of some leaves and the S6 doing much better here. The Z5 
once again, I was finding difficult to pinpoint that focus using touch to focus. And it also washed out the image a little bit. The colors are definitely a lot more washed out here and the Estix would get the edge, I think overall for macro images. Now moving on to an image of my lunch, I thought I'd treat myself with the amount of videos that I've been pushing out recently. Um, I think both are doing a good job. I'd say the Estix is slightly brighter, um, but both are doing a pretty good job here. Now let's move on to indoor low light situations. So this is in relatively low light. I'd say the S6 is slightly brighter, although I do prefer the colors slightly on the Z5. But let's go ahead and dip the lights even further. Now here, once again, I think you can start seeing that the Z5 in extreme low light does start experiencing some issues. So if we go in 100%, you can see that the text is very much smudged on the Z5, whereas on the S6, it is pretty sharp. Now, I don't know, I think this comes down to the fact that you've got 23 megapixels, so you are cramming more megapixels onto the sensor, which I think causes this issue in extreme low light, but that is just something to bear in mind. Now, let's move on to an image with flash. I do like the colors better here on the S6. I think the Z5 is a little bit more on the yellow side, which I don't like too much, so I would give the edge for flash to the S6. So there we have it, the S6 versus the Z5. Now overall, I think both are great cameras and very capable. We ha I tried loads of different shots for this test just to really test them out and have a variety of uh, shots for you guys. Now, I do think both did perform very well. In terms of the front-facing cameras, I would give the overall edge to the S6. I think it had better dynamic range and it was better in low light. Also for the video, the Z5 seems to crop in quite a bit for video. It doesn't do this for images, but for video, it does crop in quite a bit. So I didn't like that too much because you have to hold the smartphone really, really back. Uh, whereas the S6 has a wider angle lens and that is definitely quite useful, especially when you're filming yourself. Now, in terms of the rear facing cameras, I think both did well for video. I did prefer the colors and contrast slightly more on the S6. Although Sony steady shot intelligent active definitely did help at 1080p it was super, super smooth. Now, this is something that I missed out in the previous test and I had people going crazy on that. So in this test, you saw that the Z5 does do a great job in terms of stabilizing your footage, especially at 1080p. So that is definitely quite good. Now, in terms of outdoor wide images, I think the Z5 would get the edge because of that super wide angle lens. It does let you get more in. So that will be great for your landscapes. But for macro shots or more close up sort of shots, I would have to give the S60 edge. It lets you focus in right up close, especially if you look back at that spider. I mean, just that amount of detail and being able to focus in, pinpoint focus really close, it just worked really, really well. In terms of low light, I would have to give the S60 edge overall. As you saw, when we did start dipping the light down quite a bit, you noticed that the S6 did produce a better image compared to the Z5. In terms of audio, I like both. Both have stereo audio. And I think they sound great overall, so I would have to call that one a draw. That's what I think anyway. What do you think? Do drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts. If you want to see more images from lots of different devices, then be sure to go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram. I'm at SuperSaf TV and I post lots of images on there. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe. I've got plenty more content coming up on here. You can also see my previous related video here in the annotations and stay in touch with me over social media. Thanks for watching, this is Saf on SuperSaf TV, and I'll see you next time.